All right, here we are. Let's get uh, let's get this stuff going. So we got our heavy saucepan. Remember that we had picked out, and we said that. Let me see if I can figure out this newfangled stove here at the school. Ah, there we go. All right, high is about uh, seven and. That was one. So we said uh, medium high heat. So whatever that looks like on your stove, it's got a dial on it. So pay attention to the dial and pick a number that's somewhere in the middle and then go just a little bit higher. And there you go. Um, all right, so what we need to do here. First of all, let your pan warm up for just a minute. You can't cook in a cold pan. So that's one of the things that folks do at home that kind of grinds my gears is trying to cook food in a cold pan. You gotta get it hot enough for thermal transfer. You know, geez, it's physics, right? So let it heat up a little bit. It doesn't have to be blazing hot, but let it warm up uh, just a little bit. All right, and then recipe calls for what? A tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. Well, remember I said I didn't have olive oil, so one plus one is two. Where I went to school, so I'm gonna use a couple of tablespoons of butter. So you can do that at home too. If you like butter, use butter. If you want olive oil, use olive oil. So why am I mixing the two? Well, I like the flavor of olive oil, and if you can burn your butter, and so the olive oil helps you from a little bit to keep from burning your butter, and uh, and so that that's always a good thing. But there you go. So you just need a couple of tablespoons of fat in there. You don't have butter, you don't have olive oil, put some Crisco in there. Put some lard in there. Put some bacon grease in there. Whatever is good. You need a little bit of fat in the bottom of your pan. And I don't know if you can see this in the camera. You know, camera angles, you know, geez, for y'all, this is my first video, so y'all are going to have to cut me a little bit of slack. I don't know how the audio, the video is going to be. Am I talking too much? Am I talking not enough? Explaining enough about what to do? You know, some of you guys have cooked at home. Some of you haven't, so I don't know what your skill level is. So I'm just going to keep talking you through this, and and we're going to go. All right. So you know your 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 oil's getting hot. Your your butter should foam just a little bit. Obviously, it'll be melted. So I don't know if you can tell tell what that looks like. But I don't want to burn the the milk solids that are in my butter. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of these vegetables in there now. probably can't hear this through the camera but there's a little bit of sizzling oil on it's not it's not real strong but a little bit a little bit of sizzling going on so stir it around just a little bit and get it covered with oil and then all right geez people have a little patience so one of the things that also drives me nuts when I talk to people about cooking is it takes time, y'all. You got to give this thing time to cook a little bit. So sure, you can crank the heat. That's not necessarily going to make it cook faster. It's going to make you burn your supper. And you know, when you burn your food, that black stuff, you know what that is? That's a caramelized sugar. That's charcoal. So, you know, unless you enjoy a big old bite of a tasty charcoal briquette before you make your hamburgers outside, well, try not to burn your food. So give it a little time. Let it... Uh, saute there a minute. We're going to let this cook for a little bit until the onions soften down. So this may be one of those points that I can cut the camera and come back to this. This is probably going to take, I don't know, five minutes, something like that. Or you can just stay with me, whichever way you want to do. Uh, you know, I hope one of the things that you guys are doing while you're home, if you like to cook, is, you know, spend some time on YouTube and uh, look for cooking shows. There's a lot of good stuff out there. You can you know, just search on YouTube for the sorts of things that you like to cook and find recipes and, and see. Uh, I was watching a cooking show the other day. It was an Australian cooking show. And they had this chef, he was making a, a pie. And, and so then he, and he, and he made this, this meringue, you know, to put on top of his pie. Like I think it was a chocolate meringue pie he was making. And, you know, the, the studio audience that was there with him, you know, when he made this meringue, it's like... They all just 
cheered, man. It really went nuts and, and just over this meringue that he made. And that really surprised me. I mean, you know, I figured if you were from Australia that uh, they would boomerang. Yeah, aren't you sorry now that you're cooking with the wood fired foodie? All right. So, anyway, well, hey, if you survive that joke, maybe you'll see that. So, our, our vegetables here, they're starting to soften already a little bit. You can see the texture of the onion that changes a little bit. You don't have to cook these fully all, all the way through because this is going to cook for, for 20 minutes when, when we put the rice in. All right. So, there you go. I think so that I don't have to edit this video a whole lot. I want to declare victory right there on those vegetables. And, all right. So one of the things I'm going to do, I got to looking at the recipe that I wrote up, and uh, it said to put the liquid in and then put in the, the seasonings. I'm going to call another audible here. And I'm going to put that seasoning packet in there and swirl it around just a little bit. I want to go ahead and coat that, uh, that, that spice with a little bit of that butter that's in there. And the heat from that, will re those oils will release some of the, the, the flavor that's in that seasoning. But there we go. That's it. And I'm going to throw my rice in there now. I want to do the same thing. I want to stir this rice around just a little bit. I want to cut it, coat it with the, the fat that's in the pan and with those spices, the seasoning that's, that's in there. All right. Oh, yeah. And you need to put some salt and pepper in there. One cup of rice, two cups of liquid, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon or to one tablespoon of fat. That's your basic recipe for, for rice, all right? Uh, one part rice, two parts liquid, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon to a tablespoon of fat, whatever makes you happy with that. And there you go. So I've got all of those things together blending nicely. Maybe you can see that in the camera. Maybe. All right, it looks pretty delicious to me. All right, now remember I just used one cup of, of rice. So I'm going to throw one can of this chicken broth in here. In this whole school kitchen, I couldn't find a can opener. So, I had to look for 10 minutes. Gonna have to talk to Ms. Phillips about that. But, anyway, there we go. Now I'm gonna throw in the bay leaves. Uh, be sure with the bay leaves, in case I forget to tell you later, they leave a wonderful flavor in your food, but you don't wanna eat them. So, whenever this thing's done cooking, you wanna be sure and take those bay leaves out of your food. All right, now, you got all the ingredients in there. Now you can go ahead and crank the heat up. We want to bring this up to a boil. And you can leave it up on medium high. It'll boil eventually, but uh, I don't know. We're, we want to eat, so so go ahead and get the get the heat cranked up under this thing. And this certainly may be a place where I cut the video and, and come back to it. Um, let's see how long this this takes to boil. All right, you can probably see in the camera now that the rice is, is come up to a good vigorous boil. And it's okay at this point to give this all one last stir and make sure that nothing is stuck together. But now, y'all, here's the important part if you want to cook rice. Slap the lid on this thing and turn your heat down to low. All right, this thing went all the way from, you know, low to through six and then high. And I'm setting it here on about two. It's gonna look like it's not doing anything, but trust me, this is what you wanna do. Bring it up to a boil, slap the lid on it, turn it down to low, not medium, not medium low, I want you to put it on low. And then you stand by the stove with a spoon and the first person wants to lift this lid and check and see if this rice is okay, you whack them, all right? What I want you to do is set a timer 20 minutes all right and I'm going to use my timer on my watch 
20 minutes, all right? Do not let anybody lift this lid for 20 minutes. They come by, hit them in the shin, whack them on the back of the hand, something. Don't lift it, don't check on it. I wanna see if it's okay. I wanna make sure it's simmering. Leave it alone. That's how people mess up rice. You hear me? Leave it alone. I'm watching you, okay? Be back in 20 minutes. 